Hello, uh, journeyman. This is Abuela. I'm sorry that we can't be together in a classroom, but all of you are in my heart right here. Okay, so um, you know how we always pray before we begin? Well, let's take a moment and let's pray now. Everybody, close your eyes. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us, Lord. And Father, continue being with each and every student's uh, lives, Father God, and their families as well in this trying time, Lord. Father, continue being with Jonathan V, Jonathan G, Zachary, Daniel, and Natalia, and all their families. And Father, continue being with the CC community family as well. Father, I thank you for giving us our health and our strength, Father God, to do that you, what you called us to do, Lord Jesus, and um, just to, you know, bring it out there for everyone to learn. So, Father, we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. And everyone says? Amen, amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> okay, so we're going to begin with uh, math, and thank you, Jessica, for filming. Anytime. <laughs> okay, so um, you're going to have to rotate with me. Okay, I'll rotate okay. with you. So um, here's our math that we are learning in uh, week 19. We are in week 19. Okay, so math. Area of a uh, circle. The area of a circle equals pi 3.14 times the radius squared. What does that mean? This is area. That's the equal sign. This is the pi sign, so that would be 3.14 times, even though there isn't a multiplication sign, when you have two um, symbols together or two letters, that usually means to multiply. So that's why it says times. So you multiply 3.14 to the radius of the second power, to um, radius squared. So, take a look at the diagram I have here. This is called, this is your circle, this is called the circumference, okay? The line around that makes a circle is called the circumference. We are going to try to find out what is the inside, the area of a circle. So, this point to this point is called the diameter. It goes straight across, diameter. This is the center. In the circle, you always have everything meet right in the middle, the center of the circle. And this green line over here, that's what we're going to focus on. This green line is the radius. That is what gets squared. So, let's put it all together. If I have, if I'm saying that this 2... Um, this radius is 2, that means it'll be 2 squared. So 2 squared, we know it equals what? 4. 4, that's <laughs> right. Okay, so that's where the R2 will come in. I gave a number for the radius, 2, so it's 4. So now you take 3.14 times 4. And that's how you find your area. Okay, let's go to Latin. Okay. Now, this is first conjugation, perfect tense. So here's the song. I'm not a great singer, but here it goes. E is the it, imis is this errant, first conjugation, perfect tense. And for all you guys who are going for Memory Master, try to get it into your mind as best as you can. That E, E, E is perfect, perfect, perfect. E, E, E. Perfect, 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 E, 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 perfect, 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 tense. To help you remember the beginning of it, okay? So here we go, one more time. E is the it, M is, is this errant, first conjugation, perfect, tense. And I hope you have that. Now let's go to science. All right. Now, yes, I have here, Jesus is in control of all. Amen, amen, amen. Remember amen. that. Okay, so science. What is the first law of thermodynamics? What is the first law of thermodynamics? The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Let's do it one more time. Okay. What 
is the first law of thermodynamics? What is the first law of thermodynamics? The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Okay. Now, my husband's Greek, so here's a little Greek um, things here. All right. <laughs> Thermo in thermodynamics. Thermo means heat. And dynamics means power. So together, thermodynamics equals things like heat engines. And we have an example of a refrigerator is a perfect example of a thermodynamic um, state. A refrigerator, when you touch it in the back or the bottom, you feel a lot of heat come out. But when you open the refrigerator and the freezer, it's cold inside. So what this does is the thermodynamics, it takes the heat out of the box and lets the cool in. Okay, so that's why in the, on a refrigerator, the bottom or the back could be hot, very warm, and the inside is very cold. Okay, now let's go to English. Oh boy, what's a gerund? Here we go. A gerund. A gerund is a present participle verb form used as a noun. Again, a gerund is a present participle verb form used as a noun. What does that mean? Well, I gave you two examples here. Okay. I'm going to put my thumb, I'm going to cover the ending. Okay. It's called the suffix. We have walk. Walk is an action. Walk is a verb, right? But now we have ing. We connected the present participle, right? Yeah, present participle to the verb form. So now we're going to the way it's being used here, it's going to be used as a noun. So walking can be fun. Walking can be fun. How about this one? Shouting. Well, let's cover it again. Shout. Ah! That's an action, isn't it? It's a verb. Okay. It's a verb form, but we're going to put the ing. Here we go. Ta-da. There it is. The present participle, ing endings. Okay, to the verb form, to form a noun. So now it's shouting is loud. And I hope that was helpful. Okay, now we're going to come to history. Tell me about the Korean War. Tell me about the Korean War. In 1950, General Douglas MacArthur led United Nations forces to stop communist North Korea from capturing all of South Korea during the Korean War. Again, in 1950, General uh, Douglas MacArthur led United Nations forces to stop communist North Korea from capturing all of South Korea during the Korean War. Okay. And there you have your history. All right. Now let's go to geography. Okay. Geography. Southeastern Asia. So here's a little jingle. Southeastern Asia. Southeastern Asia. Southeastern Asia. North Korea. South Korea. Taiwan and Philippines. And Guam. Here we go. Southeastern Asia, Southeastern Asia, Southeastern Asia, North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, Philippines, and Guam. Okay, now with that in mind, come to the map. Okay. Now here's Europe, Africa, Asia. Now Asia is very big, yes, but go all the way down. Here we go. That dot that I made there is North Korea. Notice the, um, the, the, I forgot what you call it. Compass. The compass. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the compass. North. Okay. North because it's facing north. South Korea because it's facing south. North Korea, South Korea. There's Taiwan. It's very, very small. And if you think that's small, take a look at Guam. I actually had to make a little, um, you know, a little sign of it in the, in the um, black line. 
And then here are the Philippines. I just dotted it, okay? All right, now, here's the black line, okay? North Korea, South Korea, this is Taiwan. Here are the Philippines. Now, this is supposed to be Guam. Look what happens when I erase it. You cannot see the island. It is so small that this map cannot capture it. It is so small, you cannot see it. But Guam, that's the place where Guam is. And Guam is actually part of the United States. Just a little fun fact. Okay. Now let's go to over here. Now we're going to do the timeline. Okay. So here we go. Lincoln's war between the states. Reconstruction of southern states. Dominion of Canada. Otto von Bismarck unifies Germany. Boers wars in Africa. The Spanish-American war. The progressive era. Okay, that's your timeline. So now we're going to do the uh, hand motions for them. And I know I'm so sorry I can't sing. <laughs> when I used to sing when my kids were little, they used to cry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, you ready? So this is Lincoln's war uh, between the states. Okay. The reconstruction of southern states. Dominion of Canada. Otto von Bismarck unifies uh, Germany. Boers wars in Africa. Over here. The uh, Spanish-American War. The Progressive Era. Okay, and I hope that's helpful uh, when you're doing your timeline. If you want to use the hand motions, go right ahead. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you want to create your own, that's fine as well. Okay, whatever helps you to remember.